Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Tyson. I hope y'all are doing well today. I'm doing all right. Thank you for asking. So today's segment is impromptu. I, I didn't plan on coming to y'all for another day or two with um, a whole nother video that had nothing to do with this. But I saw Paris Milan's video on this and I had to give my take on it. And being that we're talking about black male accountability, uh, this could not miss the docket. So with that being said, um, real quick explanation, 50 Cent, apparently Lil Wayne has a podcast now, or Young Money, or whoever, Lil Wayne's on it though, and he was doing a show with 50 Cent, and there was a specific part where 50 Cent talked about black women being angry when black men rush to go date these exotical women and all this other stuff. And then he starts going into how the exoticals already have their lives established. And, you know, he, he mentioned a Ferrari and something. Look, go watch Paris's video to get a clear breakdown of what he said. I'm sorry, but 50 Cent, like, I think one of those nine bullets hit him in the mouth. A good one or two of them. Because when he talk, it, I, I just, I can't understand it. I can't. It's, it's. I wish I was on video so I could show y'all what it looked like when he talked. But if you if you watch 50 Cent, you know. So at any rate, struggle mouth. Um, he said what he said on the interview. And um, I have my own points about it. So that's what we're here to discuss today. Um, I don't, as far as personality wise, I, I don't really care for 50 Cent. I'm not going to lie. He's not my favorite celebrity. Um, like out of a top 50, he wouldn't make that list. Um, don't get me wrong now. Many men come on, you know, I'm gonna sing right along. Now, am I gonna stream it or support it? No, I'm not doing that shit. Um, but his attitude the last decade or so has just it's turned me off. And then when I found out what the way he treats his child, I definitely y'all know me, and I come from a toxic uh family background. I haven't spoke to my spoken to my family in almost a year. It's almost August. We're coming up on a year since we've spoke. So I don't I don't play with family members not doing what the fuck they need to do. Parents in particular. I don't play when it comes to that shit. And the relationship that he has with his son is disgusting. It's disgusting. And the arrogance that he has when discussing the relationship with his son. Until he does right by me, I won't, like, what the fuck? How dare you? Who the fuck are you? That man did not choose to be here. You chose to lay down and fuck this woman and impregnate her. The nerve of him, it disgusts me, but I'm going to calm down because we're trying to be logical here. So I've, I've never really, he's not my favorite person. Um, when he, all, all the roasting and shit, it, it just was, it wasn't, it never was really funny to me. Um, I mean, now when he and Wendy Williams went at, back and forth at it, that, that shit I could laugh at. Uh, but there were also certain stuff like him and Vivica, that shit back and forth got old as fuck. Um, excuse me. The, the situation with Notori Naughton, that disgusted me. And, I mean, I can't tell her to take food out of her mouth because she does have a child now. But, quite, per quite frankly, if that was me, uh, I wouldn't be back on power for the next season. Like, nigga, I make you look good every night. And she, she was so humbling with how she came at him. And that just goes to show you that black women can literally be minding their business. It's one thing with him and Vivica or him and Wendy Williams because they go back and forth with each other. But Notori didn't want no problems with that man. She didn't do nothing to him. She was minding her business. Minding her business, her black business. And here he comes out of the blue. And then you apologize for it. And then you do it again. What the fuck? So this man has a victim mentality like no other. The cognitive dissonance with him is seriously astounding. So with that being said, um, I want to move on to what he actually said, though. Now, my first issue with the interracial dating conversations coming from black men in specific is they never want to flip the coin on the side of tails. It's always heads. And what I mean by that is it's always, oh, black women are in an uproar when black men date interracially and we should be able to love who we want to. But let your daughter say that she's bringing home a white man and y'all will flip the fuck out. Or a Mexican man, any, anything that's not black. And we literally condition our women to hold out for these niggas that are divested. They're divested. 
But y'all tell them to hold on and wait for black women or black men. And I told y'all in my last video, or not my last video, but I told y'all in my, you know, why I will no longer push black love video. I'm not telling these women to wait for shit. You know, now do I endorse interracial dating? No, I really don't care. Go where you're loved, especially when it comes to black women, because they're so unloved by their own men at that but by the whole world as it is in general. So if you find somebody who genuinely loves you, go for it. You only live once. And the community as a whole, this community as a whole, doesn't, it, it, I, I don't see any Wakanda coming anytime soon. So that's my thoughts as far as the interracial dating, but I don't like how black men just want to bring up how black women react when uh, at any given time when a black woman interracially dates especially a dark-skinned black woman which is stupid as fuck because most of y'all don't that's not your preference you remember that word preference it's just a preference ma so when black women exercise their preference not even out loud because this is the thing you don't have celebrity black women coming out at all disparaging black men in the process of dating and that's also another issue i have with this interracial dating uh conversation in the black within the black community y'all act like it's the same it's not a lot of these black women they can't find love in their own community whether because they're dark skin or you know maybe they're not the the a body image that we uphold in the community maybe they're not thick with three with three c's and you know they don't have a coke bottle but coke bottle body you know what i'm saying so they go where they're loved you know what I'm saying? But nobody wants to contextualize that. When black men do shit, there's always an explanation. Oh, he didn't have no father. He, there's always some sob story that's there. And it, that would be okay if black women got that same right. If you bring up Chrisette Michelle versus what Kanye West did, I guarantee you some nigga is going to say, oh, well, his mom died. As if that has anything to do with the hateful rhetoric that he... Not the hateful rhetoric that he spewed, but that he endorsed. I have yet to see Chrisette Michelle in a Make America Great Again hat. But nonetheless, y'all keep telling yourselves it's not the same and oh, well, no, what she did was worse. At any rate, I don't got time for that bullshit. Uh, going back to what I was saying, though, people have eyes. The Internet is forever. So we see when the regular people and i'm bringing up regular folks because i know people are going to say oh celebrities don't represent us all okay we see you niggas online we see y'all online dragging serena williams dragging tika sumter dragging jody smith turner as if jody smith turner was what y'all would have dated you know what i'm saying but nonetheless y'all can sit here and act like y'all would have wanted that all no no your dating choices don't reflect that you would have wifed a jody turner real talk most of y'all ain't even wifing y'all exoticals y'all making them baby mamas too but we ain't gonna talk about that <laughs> but at any rate um i feel like there's like i said in in this interracial dating conversation there's always sides of the coins that never get flipped on the other side i don't like that stefan clark literally had his asian wife who looks like a fucking man She's very handsome. And he had his wife comfortable, his Asian wife, sit there comfortably and attack our women. But y'all want me to say, oh, he would have changed. He was going to change the world. And he was all this other sob story, again, with the contextualization. And I would be okay with that if black women received that same treatment. But they don't. They don't. And actually, no, I'm lying. Even if we still gave, no, I wouldn't, I, I'm not okay with that anyways. Because you're sitting here telling me somebody's going to change at 25. If you're still spewing anti-black rhetoric at age 25, you're probably going to be like that for the rest of your life. Let's just go ahead and call a spade a spade. Like, no, no, we're not going to do that. If this was a racist white person, we wouldn't be saying, oh, they were 25, they were young. They, no. You, in fact, y'all sound like racist white people <laughs> trying to explain away racism. <laughs> That's what y'all sound like when y'all say that shit. So nonetheless, um, like I said, those are my issues with the interracial dating conversations. They're always one-sided and in favor of black men. Y'all like to sit here and act like you don't talk down about black women while dating interracially, and that's what most of us have a problem with. There is a sector of black women who are upset to see Becky, see you with a Becky. However, I'm upset when you talk down on Keisha 
while you with your Becky and then allow your Becky to talk down on Keisha as well. That's what I'm upset about. And most of us are upset about that. We don't care if you're divested. If you want to marvel in the crumbs of white supremacy that you do get from being with your Becky, that's fine. That's fine. Nobody cares. We don't care. Do your life. Do you. But don't destroy women in the process. Every other race of man seems to get this shit except for niggas. I don't understand. Let me relax. Let me relax. So my next bulletin point would be what his perspective tells me about how he views black women and also how it indirectly uplifts the exotical men who provided for these very women. Like he literally equated black women to poverty when he was speaking. That's problematic. And if that wasn't bad enough, I don't, I don't, I don't, when you uplift the women, we, we live in a patriarchal wor world. And um, I'm going to go through some comments actually that sum this up well. Um, here we go right here. Somebody said, I swear black men don't understand how the world works. If your women of your race or if the women of your race are poor, that means you're poor. It's a patriarchal world. <laughs> I don't, I, the cognitive dissonance, I don't understand this shit. <laughs> then another commenter under Paris's video said, those other girls, quote unquote, got it already because their men keep them wealthy amongst the, or keep their wealth amongst their own. And even if they date out, they don't bash their own. Again, another good point. I don't see where the cognitive dissonance is going at with black men's brains when these are topics of conversation. If you're dissing your women, you're dissing you. <laughs> you came from these women. I, I, don't under, I don't understand. I don't. I really don't. And this one was kind of interesting. Um, so on the whole I, interracial dating tip, somebody said, I hear what you're saying. She was responding to somebody. I'm assuming it's a she, but black women have to change that way of thinking because black women say things like they would never date a white man because he could never understand their hair or their struggles, etc. Well, the truth is black men don't understand those things either. When it comes to black women, they only care about what affects them. Didn't you hear the dismissive way the black man, the black radio host, who is a man, kept over talking 50 cents ba black baby mother and trying to redirect the blame onto her when she spoke about her being abused. And I can attest to that in Paris's video, the interview um, person, and I had wrote a comment about that too. I didn't like that. He pretty much made the fact that she cheated on 50 cent, even though, and she brought it up, even though that he's been cheating on her forever. We know how these rappers get down, but he pretty much was like, oh, no, 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 no. Don't talk about him. We talking about you. How that was so classless and tactless. Okay, she cheated on him. Did that warrant her getting her ass beat? Do better. These interviewers need to do fucking better. But nonetheless, um, heck, black men, the rest of the comment reads, heck, black men don't even understand black women's hair issues. Just try wrapping your hair in a scarf at night and watch a black man ask why you have to wear that quote unquote thing on your head every time you come to bed. And I've seen black men have conversations about this in person. I've seen it on social media. That is very true. And then um, the last read of, bit of the comment reads, it's amazing what most black women will tolerate when it comes to black men, all in the name of love, but any other man gets only one shot to get it right before he gets ghosted. So that's some food for thought right there. That was interesting. My next viewpoint is his awarded degeneracy proves that we do allow the bare minimum to rise up in ranks. Literally. Look at his rap content, drugs, killing, murder, all this other stuff. On top of that, he's a deadbeat father. On top of that, the physical abuse of his child's mother. On top of that, the verbal abuse and going back and forth with black, and, black women and the public, in, uh, public eye. Like, he's basically a Dusty in Gucci, really and truly. And uh, y'all want to be mad at me because I agreed with some of Candace Owens' points. Really? Was she wrong? Are y'all trying to prove her wrong? Because uh, all that shit that I just listed off, we've seen him do all of that. Y'all seen him do at least one of those things. We all knew about his history with his children, so nobody needs to act surprised about that shit. We all been knew that nigga was a deadbeat dad. And y'all want to be mad when people stereotype us, but look who gets promoted. 
Look who gets supported, not promoted, because the media is going to do what they want to do. But black people supported 50 Cent. Don't get me wrong. I know white people buy majority of music, and we as black people need to have a conversation about really financially supporting each other. Because the fact that white kids buy the most hip hop, that's troubling to me. And that's problematic. And maybe we'll do another video on that at some point. But y'all want me to be mad and sit here and just because y'all don't like Candace Owens, y'all want to disregard everything she said as if that part is not true? Y'all uplifted this man. Y'all supported this nigga. And let me read this tweet out for y'all because y'all love to act like black people are individuals and one actions don't count for everybody else's. We can all speak for each other. That's not how it works for anybody. But let me read y'all this. You guys, at 50 Cent, at tip, you guys have always called out Kanye. We need you guys to public, publicly call him out again. He's trying to siphon black voters from Biden in an attempt to win the election for Trump. The black community listens to you guys. Please call him out for what he's trying to do. Now, the fact that they said the black community and the fact that his name is Ryan Smith alludes me to think this is the white male. So he understands representatives of the community and how all that shit works. And he's looking at these people as some type of speaker for black people. So you cannot say that the actions of these black celebrities does not matter. Because that shows you right there. He didn't at Sean King. or Well, I know some of y'all don't fuck with Sean King. But he didn't at Trevor Noah. Trevor Noah, even though he's mixed. Y'all get the point of what I'm saying, though. He went to 50 Cent and Tip. So don't tell me that the actions of black celebrities do not represent all of us because to an extent they do and that's just on it is what it is so that means we need to watch who we support and put money into financially so with that being said i know that this is black male accountability but i know i have a good group of black female uh, not i want to say female black woman viewers so i do want to talk to y'all real quick Black women, stop riding or dying. It's getting you nowhere. This woman literally paid his studio time. And he's, wait, real quick. He's the success story. She paid for his studio time while he sat at the house and watched TV with the kids. He didn't work. He didn't have no job. She paid for that nigga's studio time. And who's getting the benefits of her paying that shit? Not her. She wasn't married to him. She can't even get no damn uh, uh, spousal support or whatever the fuck it's called. She wasn't married to his ass. He gave her all these sweet nothings and said he was going to take care of that shit. And he's the success story. He actually did pop off and become a mainstream artist. Made her all those empty promises. Nothing came from it. But dysfunction. That's all. Dysfunction and a heartbroken son. My heart goes out to him. It is not easy being in that place. And I have two parents who were there. And it still went to shit. But this is the same man effing vodka he got power you got all this money you can't do shit for your child and this is the same man who rapped love don't get you on the bus let's see how long she stays when the money runs out the same man really but she was paying for you to record that get the fuck out of here so on that note i'm gonna sit back i've gave y'all my point my um piece on the situation let's see all the quote-unquote good black men Let's see them speak out against him. I, I want to see that. You know, I don't, I don't want to just see you talk about Meek Mill and Rick Ross and all that. Let's see if any good black men speak up about this. Um, I will say I did find some videos on um, black men who are on the right side of the situation with the whole girl thrown in the, uh, in the trash can and the girl hit with the skateboard. I've been, you know, seeing some black male YouTubers get it right here and there. So I give them their props. I'm not going to say their names, but, you know. We out here, but we need to be the ones on the microphone, not these degenerates. So with that being said, y'all let me know what y'all think down below, and I'll get back to y'all on the next segment of Black Male Accountability. Peace.